I'm shook. I'm shook. Hi guys, I'm Ree. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new and like what you see, please hit that subscribe button because I guarantee you're gonna wanna stay here. I think you're really gonna like it here. If you're on any sort of faith, fitness, lifestyle journey, this is the page for you because that's what I'm currently highlighting. I'm just trying to glow up and get my life together. So if you're on a similar journey, stick around. If you're returning, hey besties, it's so good to be putting out another video to you guys. I'm having the best time putting out content and I love that you guys have been enjoying my content. I've been getting such sweet and kind words in the comment section and I just wanna give you guys a shout out because you guys are so consistent, so sweet, and so motivating. And without you guys, I would not be able to do what I'm doing. So I just wanna thank you guys. Also give you guys a huge shout out because we hit 30.2K subscribers. Ah! I'm shook. I'm shook. Like, how did we get here? I'm so blessed and so thankful to have the opportunity to have this platform and to just interact with you guys. You guys are amazing literally so amazing so thank you thank you thank you so as you can tell by today's title we're getting into another meal prep with Ree. so i'm gonna prepare three meals and when i say meals two of them are actually meals one is actually a snack or a dessert but i guess we could still count it because dessert is very important that is a very 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 important meal to me i still haven't been feeling breakfast lately i've still been sticking to my coffee and my protein shakes i use the owen plant-based protein shakes they've been doing really well for me they're easy on my stomach and i can just grab them and go for lunch today i'm going to be making two options like a vegetarian option and then if you eat meat like me i have an option for you to make. i'm gonna be making little snack packs or or like adult lunchable kind of deals. I always go to Starbucks and I always buy them, but I decided maybe I should like save a little bit of money and make my own because I need to humble myself. Like my bank account, when I look, I need to humble myself. I don't know who I think I am. So I'm gonna be making a vegetarian option and a meat option. For dinner, I'm really excited because I'm going to be making a chimichurri chicken salad and I've never made chimichurri before, so I'm very interested to see how this goes. Hopefully it tastes good. I've been researching recipes all week, so we'll see how this goes. I'm probably gonna doctor it up. And yes, red chili flakes will be in the mix. I know it, I could feel it in my spirit. And then for my snack slash dessert option, I'm going to be making these dark chocolate dipped yogurt raspberries. It sounds weird when I say it. I'm basically gonna take some raspberries dip them in yogurt and then dip them in dark chocolate and keep them in the freezer as a little snack. So that's what I'm gonna be preparing today. So without further ado, let's just jump into this video. So for our vegetarian lunch boxes, I'm starting off with a single cup of hummus followed by some cucumbers, carrots, and then some hard boiled eggs as my protein. I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper and salt. I don't think I showed you the salt, but I added it on there for a little razzle dazzle. And then I have some crackers to throw in for some crunch and then I'm pairing this with grapes. Next for the non-vegetarian version, I'm doing the same exact thing with the hummus, cucumbers, and carrots, but this time as my protein, I'm gonna have some peppered salami. I'm gonna keep the crackers, but instead I had apples on the side and I didn't wanna slice them too early because they turn brown really fast, but that is the fruit that I paired them with. Now it's time to prep dinner. So I'm gonna start by preparing my chimichurri sauce and this is everything that I'm going to need. So all of my fresh herbs, veggies, juices, spices, you name it, I got it up here. Of course the recipe will be linked down below. So the first step in making the chimichurri, we're going to finely chop some fresh parsley and finely, finely chop some red onion. From here it's pretty much a cakewalk. We're just gonna assemble everything in the bowl. So we're gonna start with our fresh parsley and red onions. Then I'm gonna add three cloves of minced garlic, 20 grams of cilantro. Listen, we already know how I feel about cilantro, but I'm trying to be better. I'm using cilantro paste because cilantro is actually really hard to find. Then I'm gonna add a teaspoon of dried oregano, three tablespoons of lemon juice, and some red wine vinegar. Season with salt, pepper, and red pepper flakes because you know they have to make an appearance. And then mix it well and top it off with some olive oil. Thank you. 
Now for the chicken, I'm using thinly sliced chicken breasts and I'm gonna just take a few tablespoons of the prepared chimichurri sauce, mix it together and let it marinate until my skillet heats up. In a lightly greased non-stick skillet pan, sear the chicken on both sides and cook until the chicken is completely cooked. Y'all please disregard this pan, she is acting up. But in the same pan that I cooked the chicken, I'm going to quickly blacken some corn. I didn't season it, but feel free to do you. Now to assemble the salads, I'm using a base of romaine lettuce, add on some thin-ish sliced red bell peppers, and then I found some minced peppers in my fridge, so I'm throwing that on there also. Next, add your blackened corn, some cucumbers, and then top with your chicken. To finish off the salad, I'm just topping the chicken off with a heaping spoonful of the chimichurri sauce and this sauce will also double as my salad dressing. I do want to mention that chimichurri sauce does hold up really well in the fridge for about 5-7 to seven days depending on how you store it. I kept the rest of mine in a glass mason jar that was tightly sealed. In this next clip, I'm just showing you how I plan on preparing it every single day. So I kept all of the same add-ins, all of my veggies, but I am adding a little bit of avocado for a little razzle dazzle. And finally, on to dessert. So here I have some washed raspberries. I'm going to dip them in this so delicious coconut milk yogurt alternative. I don't really like this yogurt, so I'm trying to find creative ways to use it. So I'm going to dip all of my raspberries in the yogurt and place them in the freezer. And this is what my raspberries look like after they've been in the freezer for about an hour and a half. And now for my absolute favorite part of this entire recipe, I'm going to melt some dark chocolate chips. I'm using the Lily's brand and I'm gonna add one teaspoon of coconut oil, melt it together and mix well. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys, this part was so chaotic, but I had to do it a couple times until I got it right. So I decided to put the frozen raspberry on a fork, drizzle the chocolate on top, and then place it on a separate baking sheet and place it back into the freezer. I had to do it a couple of times until I got it right. And once they were all frozen, I just placed them in this tiny little meal prep container and kept them in the fridge. They're holding up really, really well so far. Okay guys, so that's basically gonna conclude this entire meal prep video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you guys try the recipes and you like them just as much as I do. I'm very, very surprised that I like the chimichurri. Like, wow, who am I? Her palate is growing up. Her palate is maturing. Like, wow, we love growth. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Also be sure to turn on those post notifications. That way you can be notified every time your girl drops a new video. And until next time, babes, I'll see you in my next. Mm -hmm.